Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to learn this lesson happily with lots of animated videos. Are you ready to learn with joy? Then stay connected with me. In this video, I will discuss some interesting facts with lots of animated videos. Do you know what's the name of this lesson? Super Senses. Yes, let's see what is in this chapter. Dear friends, has this ever happened to you? You were eating in the playground. An eagle flew down and took away your roti or food item. Or you dropped something sweet on the ground. Uh -oh. And within minutes, many ants collected around it. As you walked softly past a sleeping dog, its ear shot up at once and it woke up. Why does it happen? Think and tell. Dear friends, Animals also have different senses, like us. They can see, smell, taste, feel, and hear. Some animals can see their prey from far away. Some can hear even the faintest sound. Some animals can find their friends by their smell. The animal's world is full of examples of amazing senses. <laughs> Do you know that? How did the ant recognize the friend? Let's see this video. <laughs> hmm? Hey, who is this? Hello? Why are you not speaking? Hello? Uh, Sardar, uh, we are the members of your own group. Hmm? My group? Who are you? I can't recognize you. Yes, Sardar. We are your, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, we are, uh, 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 we are your family. Mm -hmm. No, I can't recognize you. Show your ID card. ID card, ID card. Ah, yes, yes. Uh, I had given the ID card to the number three and number three. Sorry, I am the number three. Oh, uh, I had given the ID card to the number 4 ant. No, no boss. No, I don't have it. Mm -hmm. What? You don't have an ID card? Wait, now I will teach you a lesson. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sardar. <laughs> Sardar, uh, there is a group of ants who are coming here and I asked them for the identity card so they did not show it to me. Hmm? What? Let them come. Let me also see who they are. Sardar, 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 we are the ants of your group. Just don't bring our identity card. Hmm. 
Oh, this is the grandson of my aunt's nephew's sons. Haven't you got his smell? Let them come in. Thank you, thank you, boss. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Um, sorry, uh, looks like I have a little cold. That's why I could not smell them. Now, do this experiment very carefully without harming the ants. Block their path for a while with pencil. Now, observe how do the ants move. Ants climb up on the pencil. They still move in a line. See this video very carefully. Body is divided into three main sections. The head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The abdomen is where an ant's stomach is stored. Ants have six legs. And have claws at the end of each leg. On top of the ant's head are two antennae. These antennae, called feelers, are used to smell, touch, taste, and hear. Ants also have two jaws, the inner jaw and the outer jaw. The inner jaw is used to chew food, and the outer jaw is used to grip and carry objects. Ants communicate by releasing a scent called pheromone. Once the worker ants have found a good source of food, they leave a scent behind, creating a scent trail leading back to the colony. Yes, now can you guess why the ants behaved like that when you block their path? Some male insects can recognize their female by their smell. Go, go. I will not tell you my address. Do not follow me. No need. Don't tell. Hmm? How did you know my address? <laughs> I came to know from your smell. I can find you from many kilometers away by your smell. <laughs> uh -oh. I am a silk worm. I can find my female worm from many kilometers away by her smell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am coming. Oh, it is coming. I have to keep calm. Oh, I found you. <laughs> I was sitting quietly. Yet, how did you find me? <laughs> by the smell of your body. I can find you by the smell of the sole of your feet. And the heat of your body. Mm, I see. <laughs> so, have you seen a dog sniffing here and there? What do you think? It is trying to smell? Dogs mark out their own area on the road. They can make out if another dog has come into their area by the smell of its urine or potty. So in what ways do human beings make use of this special sense of smells of dogs?
obviously for catching criminals detecting stolen goods detecting bomb yes now when do you find your sense of smell helpful to you you can make a list use of smell for human beings in what ways to smell of food to smell of flower to smell bad things and to smell burning objects now name the animals that you would be able to recognize only by their smell without seeing them tell me your time starts now 1 2 3 4 over see the answer without seeing them we can recognize these animals by their smell hen cock sheep or goat bull ox cow fish dog etc <laughs> now next now write the names of five things whose smell you like and five things whose smell you do not like okay make a list uh, here is like and here is don't like see the list flower chemicals incense sticks fertilizers tasty food leather perfume and gutter now make a list first flower like okay chemicals don't like gutter don't like incense sticks like fertilizers don't like perfume like leather don't like now tasty food like so here is our list now check do you and your friend have similar answers or not okay now next did you ever come across any smell in a crowded place such as a fair bus train etc yes absolutely there are different smells in bus in fair or in train we could smell the smoke coming from the bus or dust like this now see this video why so mummy mera pet dard ho raha hai aaj pata nahi kyun maine to aaj subah hi khana khaya tha lekin phir bhi मुझे लगता है तुम आज वॉशरूम नहीं गई हो सुबह से यहीं बैठी हो टीवी देखते हुए ओहो, मैंने तुम दोनों को कितनी बार समझाया है सुबह होते ही टॉयलेट को जाना चाहिए ये तो बुढ़ा बैठ होती है चलो जाओ मम्मी चिट्ठी हो गई हाँ बाबा हाँ आई आई रुको थोड़ा ओके मम्मी चलो अभी जाओ टीवी देखो और उसके बाद पढ़ाई करते बैठना ठीक है यस मम्मी अब पेट दर्द हो रहा है क्या नहीं मम्मी अभी एकदम मैं ठीक हूँ 
इसीलिए कहते हैं रोज सुबह उठते ही टॉयलेट जाना चाहिए आंटी 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 जी कहा हो आप आप मेरा भी पेट दर्द होने लगा है मुझे भी वॉशरूम जाना है क्या अब तुम भी ओहो आंटी जी हो गई मेरी चीची ओह इतनी बदबू Why so? Sushila covered her nose when she cleaned to Deepak, but not when she cleaned to her daughter. Why do you think she did this? Because our nose can sense the bad and good smell. Since Deepak smells might be dirty, Sushila covered her nose. In the case of her daughter, Sushila didn't get any dirty smell, so did not cover her nose. How do you feel when you walk near a heap of garbage? Think of the children who spend the whole day picking things from such garbage. Children who spend the whole day picking things from such garbage might not have the same feeling as yours. They are not often dated by such smell since they are used to the smell. Is the smell good or bad for everyone in the same way, or does it depend on how each one feels about it? It depends on how a person reacts to the smell. But in some cases, the bad smell is bad for most people. Now, tell the name of a bird which has. eyes in front of its head like human your time starts now 1 2 3 over the correct answer is the bird with eyes in front of its head is an owl correct answer now write the names of some birds which have eyes on either side of the head what is the size of their eyes as compared to the size of their head so birds with eyes on either side of the head are parrot eagle pigeon crane yes etc the size of their eyes is small compared to the size of their head see this picture carefully now see this video Could you see your friend's action without moving your neck like this? Can you see his action? No. You could not see your friend's action without moving your neck. Dear friends, now do an experiment. looking with one or both eyes take a card and close one of your eyes and drop the card with one hand and catch it with other hand <laughs> you can't catch it are you okay now this time keep your eyes open and try to catch again like this oh wow 
this time easily caught. Isn't it wonderful? Do you understand now why do birds rotate their neck again and again? Yes, see this picture and imagine how it would be to have your eyes in place of your ears. What would you be able to do then? Which you cannot do now. Imagine. If our eyes were in place of ears, then we could see things towards left or right, not straight. See this video for better understanding. When a bird focuses both eyes on an object, it can estimate the distance. When its eyes focuses on two different things, it increases its range of vision. Therefore, birds rotate their neck again and again. Some birds like kites, eagles, vultures can see four times as far as we can. These birds can see things from a distance of 8 meters. What we can see from a distance of 2 meters. Dear friends, do animals see colors? Animals cannot see as many colors as we can. See how things in these pictures will be seen by some animals. Birds. Dog. Lizard. It is believed that animals that are awake in the daytime can see some colors. Those animals that are awake at night can see things only in black and white colors. Sharp ear. In class 4 you read that we cannot easily see birds ears. Their ears are small holes covered with feathers. Now tell me the names of 10 animals whose ears can be seen. This is a clue for you. Dog, deer, cat, bear, goat. These are animals whose ear can be seen. Now tell me the names of some animals whose ears are bigger than our ears. Yes. Elephant. Correct answer. Giraffe, cow, zebra, elephant, buffalo, etc. Yes. So, is there any link between the size of animals' ears and their hearing? Yes, absolutely. There might be a possibility that animals with bigger ears may have better hearing than a smaller animal's ears. Now see how snakes hear. This is how snakes hear. They do not have external ears, which you can see. They only feel the vibrations on the ground. Sounds send messages. Now see this video. High up on a tree, a langur warns other of dangers like a tiger or leopard. 
the langur does this by making a special warning call like this birds also give alarm calls see this video birds also give alarm calls to warn about the danger some birds even have different sounds for different kinds of dangers for example there is a different warning call if the enemy is coming from the sky or if the enemy is on the ground fishes give alarm call by electric signals Some animals start behaving in a different way when an earthquake or a storm is about to come. People who live in forests and can observe such behavior of animals come to know of the danger. dolphins also make different sounds to give a message to each other scientists believe that many animals have a special language of their own see this video just like birds and dolphins you can also make your own language of sounds for giving messages Remember you have to talk to your friends with only sounds and no words. How and when will you need to give an alarm call? In December 2004, few tribes that live in the forests of the Andaman Islands noticed the animals behaving in a different manner. They guessed some danger so they moved away to a safer part of the island soon after the islands were hit by the tsunami but these people were saved see the scene of tsunami it is very dangerous see the waves and the speed of that tsunami so next question is what is tsunami let's see although tsunamis are commonly known as tidal waves They're actually unrelated to the tidal activity caused by the gravitational forces of the sun and moon. In many ways, tsunamis are just larger versions of regular waves. They have a trough and a crest and consist not of moving water, but the movement of energy through water. The difference is in where this energy comes from. For normal ocean waves, it comes from wind. Because this only affects the surface, the waves are limited in size and speed. But tsunamis are caused by energy originating underwater. from a volcanic eruption, a submarine landslide, or most commonly, an earthquake on the ocean floor, caused when the tectonic plates of the earth's surface flip, releasing a massive amount of energy into the water. This energy travels up to the surface, displacing water and raising it above the normal sea level. But gravity pulls it back down, which makes the energy ripple outwards horizontally. 
The 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami was one of the deadliest natural disasters in history, killing over 200,000 people throughout South Asia. So how can we protect ourselves against this destructive force of nature? People in some areas have attempted to stop tsunamis with seawalls, floodgates, and channels to divert the water. But these are not always effective. In 2011, a tsunami surpassed the flood wall protecting Japan's Fukushima power plant. Sloth. It looks like a bear, but it's not. It is a sloth. It spends almost 17 hours a day sleeping while hanging upside down on a tree branch. The sloth eats the leaves of the same tree on which it lives. It hardly needs anything else. When it has eaten enough leaves from that tree, it moves to the nearby tree. Sloths live for about 40 years and in that time they move around only 8 trees. Once a week it comes down from the tree to relieve itself. Hey bro, where do you disappear to every winter? Mm -hmm. Yes brother. Every winter, I go on vacation and take deep sleep for 2-3 months. It's time to sleep now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is the uh, sleeping time of different animals. See this? There is a 12 hours clock and question is that Given here is the sleeping time of some animals. Write below each picture for how many hours a day that animal sleeps. So dear friends, uh, here two blocks, one blocks means two hours. Okay. Keep it in your mind. Now tell me for how many hours a cow sleeps. Two means four. Four hours. Okay, Python, count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 means 18 hours. Okay, giraffe, only one block means 2 hours. And cat, 6 blocks means 12 hours. Out of 24 hours, if cow sleeps for 4 hours, then we will write it like this 4 upon 24 if python sleeps 18 hours then we will write it like this 18 upon 24 giraffe 2 upon 24 and cat 12 upon 24 okay tiger tiger is a national animal Tiger is the biggest wild animal in the cat family. It is one of the strongest animals in the jungle. A tiger can see six times better at night than most of us. The tiger's whiskers are very sensitive and can sense the movements or vibrations in air. They help the tiger move in the dark and find its prey. A tiger's sense of hearing is so sharp that it can make out the difference between the rustling of leaves and the sound of an animal moving on the grass. The ears of the tiger can move in different directions 
and this helps to catch the sounds from all around. Tigers make different sounds for different purposes, like when it is angry or to call out to a tigress. It can also roar or snarl. Its roar can be heard up to 3 kilometers away. Each tiger has its own area which may cover several kilometers. Tigers mark their area with their urine. A tiger can at once come to know if there is another tiger in its area by the smell of the urine. A tiger will avoid going into another tiger's area. The tiger is one of the most alert animals and yet today tigers are in danger. What do you think are some of the dangers to tigers in the jungle? Even today there are some dangers to tigers in the jungle. The biggest threat is from the hunters who kill them for their skin. Do you know that? Many animals are killed and their parts are sold. Elephants are killed for their tusks, rhinosaurs for its horn, tigers, crocodiles and snakes for their skin. Musk deers are killed just to make a little scent from its musk. People who kill animals are called hunters or poachers. The number of tigers and many other animals in our country is reducing. There is a danger at that some of them will soon disappear. To protect the animals, our government has made some forests as protected areas. Some of them are the Jim Corbett National Park in Uttarakhand and Ghana in Bharatpur and Satpura Tiger Reserve in Pachmadi, Madhya Pradesh. In these areas, nobody can hunt animals or destroy the jungle. Where are other such national parks in India? Find out and collect information on these and write a report. See, there are so many national parks in India, Jammu and Kashmir, City Forest, Ladakh, Hemis, Gujarat, Gir, Maharashtra, Tadoba, Karnataka, Bandipur, Madhya Pradesh, Panna, Kuno, Penj, Satpura, these are national parks. I hope you have understood this chapter very well. If you have liked this video, then do not forget to like and subscribe to get such videos. Thank you so much.